Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul and happy to be connecting with you today on live stream. Uh, looks like Zoom has changed the way they do things. I'm using Zoom to come into live stream and uh, they changed the way they do things. So I was looking around a bit, trying to figure out how to do this. Still, it's a little strange. So bear with me as I try to adjust um, how to do it now that they've changed things. Okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. Today we're gonna to be talking about the energy and the matter channels and the connectivity of the energy systems within the energy and the matter channels. And we're also gonna be talking about how to move these blockages in the body that have associations with these. There's a lot of information to cover here. Certainly not easy to cover it all in one live stream. Uh, literally, I do a 12-week program, which incorporates a lot of what I'm going to be talking about today. But nevertheless, I was guided to offer this wisdom and teaching today. And so hopefully it will serve you and all those that watch this on the recording. This, uh, <clears throat> this subject matter was, is, is not new information. It's been known out there um, uh, in terms of the generalness of it for many thousands of years. But in terms of the way to apply this sacred wisdom, that's not so, uh, not so readily and easily discovered. The chakras, for example, are as a term and terminology that's used quite commonly in the, uh, in the Far East. And, uh, but that's mostly in the yogic traditions of the uh, traditions of India and the other areas of that uh, part of the world. Whereas in the farther east in China, they may not refer to them as chakras. They might refer to them as energy centers. With my teacher, Master Shah, refers to them as soul houses. And the energy and matter channels run through the seven soul houses. So this is the information we're going to be talking about today. Uh, how to boost and build um, foundational energy in this channel, uh, which has tremendous amount of benefits. Health, wellness, energy, of course, rejuvenation, getting younger. There's a variety of, of benefits that come from working with the energy and matter channels. So just about set up here with Facebook Live, the way they're doing things now, uh, as I went through Zoom to connect to you guys. Give me a moment. So let's see who's joined us. Welcome, Jen. Aloha, Kristen. Welcome, Victor Bigno. Aloha, Archana. Uh, welcome also, Marie. Uh, welcome, Harashmi. Aloha, Vanessa. Welcome, Rawita and Diane. Thank you all for joining. Thank you for clicking on the share button, letting other people know about today's live stream. <clears throat> it's a very uh, slow start. Facebook might be throttling the, um, the amount of, of people seeing this because I'm coming through Zoom webinars because I wanted to show uh, specific images while I was chatting. So I'll need your help to make this visible to the general public. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and connect uh, and we'll invite in all the beings of light. So welcome also Cora and welcome Liza. So placing your hands either in prayer position or in soul light, soul service hand position, which is when the left hand drops in front of the heart center, these are hand mudra positions. And we're going to connect and I'll invite in all the beings of light. <clears throat> Prepare the energy field. Dear all layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, our beloved creator, we love you, we honor you, respect you, we ask you to please be present at this time. Dear our individual heavens team, we all have our own heavens team. Guides, angels, and saints, love you, honor you, respect you. We ask you to please be present at this time. Dear the soul of all the angels and healing angels, archangels, masters, ascendant masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas, beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, beloved Amitofu, Kuan Yin, beloved Krishna, Ganesha, Vishnu, Muhammad, all the beings of light, Mentioned and unmentioned. We love you, honor you, respect you all. We invite your presence at this time to serve in whatever way is most appropriate each and every one of us that have joined on this live stream today. 
Please bless us to boost and develop our energy and matter circles in the body. Help us to bring healing to ourselves and energize our lives as appropriate. We're very, very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then we'll connect heart to heart, soul to soul, using the song of love, peace, and harmony. So we invite all souls in all universes to come to sing with us, to gather in love, peace, and harmony. And this will help us to connect, clear any blockages, and prepare for today's wisdom and teachings. Welcome to Nina. Welcome, Jana uh, Joelle. Please click the share button. Let other people know about this live stream. Let us begin. For those that are new to this mantra, this is a, a healing instrument, so you can uh, close your eyes, receive the blessing. Uh, also, you may choose to join and offer blessing if you are familiar with it. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo shin harling, wo ai tsuan nan lei, rang ling rang har mu shir shang, shang ai ping on her she, shang ai ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. How, how, how. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So welcome, Carl. Welcome also, An uh, Angela. If I missed your name, forgive me. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. And so today we're going to be focusing on the energy and matter circle of the body for healing and energy. So what is the energy circle? What is the matter circle? There are two uh, circles of life force, chi energy, that run through the body. They run in different directions, which is why they have two different names, energy circle and matter circle. And they serve different purposes. They use the same pipeline, so to speak, at least in half of the direction, which is the seven chakras through the center of the body. They use the same pipeline, but not necessarily have the same function. It's kind of like uh, if you look at uh, fiber optics, right? They can run, you know, I don't know how many millions of, of, of streams of telephone calls through one fiber optic line, but um, uh, they can run multiple phone calls, multiple communications through one line. How is that possible? And they're going both directions. Honestly, I don't know, but it's similar. In the body, we have the energy and the matter channels. Now, why is this relevant? Welcome, Shari. Welcome, Sharon. The reason it's important is because heaven and Mother Earth animate us. We, if, without heaven and Mother Earth, we would be an empty shell. We'd be a lifeless bag of skin. There's a reason why we're able to stand up straight. There's a reason why I'm able to communicate and you're able to comprehend what is being said. And that's because heaven and Mother Earth have come together as the yin and the yang, the mother and the father, and have animated this vessel that you uh, now sit within. This vessel, this body, has within it an entire energetic system created by our beloved creator. And this system is the same for all human beings. Not one of us is overly special when it comes to this energy system. In the traditional teachings of uh, the Indian cultures, they refer to it as chakras. This is part of the system I'm referring to. Uh, in the uh, farther east, in the China and the Far East teachings, they refer to them as energy centers. And Master Shah's wisdom and teachings, he calls these chakras or energy centers soul houses, soul houses. And I've taught in other classes why, but the short version of this is uh, the soul 
moves through the soul houses on its trajectory to full le levels and layers of enlightenment. And so when you reach the first layer of enlightenment, the soul sits in the heart center. And as the soul becomes more enlightened, then it slowly moves up through the other soul houses until it sits above the crown of the head. This is a very hard thing to accomplish, but this is what we uh, continually return to earth for, to have the experiences to awaken to higher layers of understanding of our source, where we come from and how to get back there. And so the energy in the matter circle of the human body is exceedingly relevant to uh, just about every aspect of our physical, emotional, mental, spiritual presence. Physically, it creates health and wellness. It can also create rejuvenation, youthing. Who doesn't want to get younger, right? Everybody wants to get younger, except the people that are young, they want to get older. Welcome, uh, Stephanie. Welcome also to Samba. Welcome, Janelle. And so that's one aspect. Then there's the emotional aspect. Uh, so when we work with the energy and the matter channels, the circles in the body, how does that positively impact our emotions? Well, uh, what is not very well known, unless you have done quite a bit of homework, is that the chakras or the soul houses in this conversation uh, house a lot of emotional blockages. Just think of the message center, the heart center for just a minute. How many emotional blockages do we have trapped in our heart center? How many times do we uh, get hurt in love? or somebody says something mean to us and we close our heart, okay? These are emotional blockages and, and they can impact other areas as well. And so we do trap emotional blockages in our soul houses, which you might know as chakras. The energy and matter circles move through the soul houses in a circular pattern, which I will give you more visual information on in just a little bit. So by becoming conscious of this and by doing the practices, which I will give you an example of today, you are also effectively clearing aspects or some of the emotional blockages. Additionally, there could be mental blockages. What do you mean by mental blockages? Mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, Ego is so huge. Ego goes both directions. It can be, I am better than you. Ego can also be, whoa, look at me, poor me, poor me. It works both ways. And these kinds of mind level blockages uh, are, are rooted very often in low self-esteem. And that can also be a, a heart chakra blockage. And so these kinds of blockages can be positively impacted when somebody does these kinds of practices. What's another variable? spiritual, okay? Physical, emotional, mental, spiritual. This is just some of the aspects that are impacted when somebody works with the energy matter circle. Welcome, Tone. Welcome, Bibi. And so the energy matter circle, when uh, practiced on a daily basis, literally can clear out so many ongoing life-based blockages, physical pains and suffering, headaches, low energy, lethargy, um, you know, your minds always keep you in a loop, keeping you busy in the looping thoughts of negativity, uh, emotional spiraling. Okay, all of these things can be positively impacted. The neg at negative aspects can be released by employing the energy and matter circle practices. And the reason why people don't do it is because they don't understand it. So the information that I'm sharing is from this book here. This is Dr. and Master Shah's book. It's called Dao Song Dao Dance. And the book itself, this is Master Shah for those of you that might not be familiar with Master Shah. The book itself uh, is just one of the most condensed uh, books on the subject of the soul houses and the wisdom I'm sharing with you today. Like I said, it's almost impossible to share this in, a, in this short one hour, but uh, you'll get uh, enough wisdom from it that you can definitely work with it. First recommendation is go out and get the book because in there, there is a CD in the back, CD, DVD in the back, and it has the mantras that we'll be using today. It will help you a lot. Also, the information specific to each of the soul houses and the energy and the matter circle is much more clearly spelled out in the book. Uh, and it's one of Master Shah's best-selling books, and he has over 21 books, 11 of which are New York Times bestsellers. 
four of which are number one New York Times bestsellers. I don't think there's any author on the planet that has so many best-selling books. <clears throat> in any case, the energy in the matter channel impacts the spiritual as well. Why? Well, very simple. We are a soul before we are this physical being. We are a soul that has made manifest you're Bob, I'm Joe, you're Mary, you're Beth. We all have our own names and we think we are that personality, but actually we're not. We are the soul having a physical experience. So our soul is animated, life force animated by heaven and mother earth. So they infuse their life force energies. Where do those life force energies go to? They go to our chakra system, our soul house system. They go to our energy meridians. These uh, soul houses act as repositories of life force energy. They act as both a bank of saving and a distribution. Very important to understand. So when we empower them, much like powering up a battery cell, then the battery can give off light and give off love. This is why it's important to do practices for our uh, soul houses. And this is also why it's important to move the light between the soul houses. So think about it. Like the, first, the seventh soul house, the crown chakra, is up above the crown of the head. It's actually above the head. And it's a fist-sized energy center. If you put your fist out, that's how big it is. The third eye is cherry-sized. It's in the center of the brain. The throat chakra, fifth soul house, is also fist-sized. Almost takes up the entire size of your throat. The message center in the center of the chest plate it sits in the center of your body. It's also fist-sized. That's known as the fourth soul house or fourth chakra. The third soul house behind the belly button, fist-sized in the center of your body. And then you go down about an inch and a half, go inside the center of your body, and that's the second soul house, many times referred to as the lower Dantian. The first soul house, or what's called the root chakra in some belief systems, is actually sitting just inside the base of the skin at the torso of the base of your body, and it's also fist-sized. Now, most of us have seen the images. You know, you see, like I'll show you a picture now. Uh, let's see, this, let me open this up and I'll show you a picture. Good, okay. And so in this picture, you see where the proximity of these seven soul houses are located. And you have seen various images similar to this before in different uh, pictures around the internet and different teachings. So that's not a big surprise for you. But what is not taught very often is the space in between each of these soul houses, this, the, the space in between each of these chakras in different terminologies. That gap in between can be three or four inches can be six to eight inches. And those gaps in between the soul houses are very, very important because that's where a lot of the blockage can occur. It makes sense if you think about it, the soul houses or the chakras, they have empowerment. They are receiving life force energy from heaven and mother earth. But the gaps in between, it's kind of like an hourglass. You have the fat parts of the tube and then you have the little gap in the middle that the sand's going through. So we need to widen that gap in between each of these soul houses so that the life force energy that is coming to us 100% of the time is not blocked. Very, very important to understand. So many times our life force energy gets blocked. The ability to rejuvenate, get younger, gets blocked because the spaces between the chakras spaces between the soul houses and Master Shah's teaching uh, is, is restricted. So the key when we're reusing the energy in the matter uh, circles is to clear the blockages within the seven soul houses and between them. Now also, if you notice in this picture, there is a, uh, maybe hard to see in yours, depending on if you're looking on your phone or on your computer, but there is a line that runs from the top of the crown chakra down. And this line goes down along the back of the head, down along the spine, 
in front of the spine, as wide as the shoulders, all the way down to the base of the spine, as wide as the hips. So it's a very large space. And this space was rediscovered by Master Guo, Master Shah's uh, spiritual teacher. And I say rediscovered because uh, I'm certain that over the past five or so thousand years of this knowledge, this known knowledge, it's very likely been around much longer than that. But there's about five or so thousand years of documented knowledge on this. Um, I'm pretty confident that the great masters of the ancient traditions knew about this space along the back of the body. But if you look back in history, there's nothing written about it. And so Master Guo, Master Shah's uh, spiritual teacher, rediscovered this space along the back. And this is where the energy channel runs. It goes up through the seven soul houses and then back along the back of the neck in front of the spine, the width of the shoulders, this big wide space all the way down to the base of the body. Very, very important. This is one direction of flow, just one direction of flow. That's called the energy circle. When we move the energy through that circle, which you'll get some guidance on today, you actually can create pretty, pretty substantial benefit. So everybody check in with their health right now. Check in with your energy levels right now. Okay, just kind of check in. Am I a 10 out of 10 scale? I'm bouncing off the walls. Am I a one out of 10 scale? I can barely find energy to move. Okay, where are you at? Do you have pain? Do you have discomfort anywhere in your body? Do you have um, uh, you know, ringing in the ear or poor eyesight uh, you know, early in the morning? Or, or do you have um, un unsettled stomach? Okay, pay attention. You know, some of these things might be so normal every day, you don't even pay attention to them. You're just used to them. Does not have to be normal, right? Let me remove those for a minute, check in. Okay. And so then we're going to do this practice and you want to see what are the results after the practice. Did things shift at all? They may, they may not. If they do shift, that's a very good sign. If they don't shift, that's also a very good sign because it if they don't shift, it tells you that the blockages are heavier and you need to do a lot more practice. Very simple. Okay. And so how do we do this practice? Well, what we do is we incorporate a mantra. And this mantra will be new to most of you. It's not something that's going to be uh, something that you've heard of before, uh, unless you've practiced. But um, let me go ahead and pull it up here for you so that you can see it. Give me a minute. I've got three different screens up, so it takes a little while to figure out which one is the one that I need to use. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? <sighs> Sorry, give me a moment, please. There you are. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to share this screen now. So what you're going to see here is a mantra, and this is in Master Shah's book, the one I just showed you, Tao Song Tao Dance. And uh, I'm in the beginning phase of teaching this to my students in my 12-week program for opening the spiritual channels. So many of them have joined today, so they're going to get an additional uh, class on this. And it's good for them. They need it. They're just learning this. So if you look at the left column, you see these words that don't look like normal words you're used to if you're used to English. And it's hei is the first one, hong, hong, ah, shi, yi, wong, yo. So these words, hei, hong, hong, ah, shi, yi, wong, yo, represent sound. And each sound assists the different soul house. He is the first soul house. Hung is the second soul house. Hong is the third soul house. Ah, everybody put their hand over their chest. Thump your chest and say, ah. That's the fourth soul house. 
the fifth soul house is she, 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 she. And then the sixth soul house, or what is known as third eye, is yi, 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 yi. The crown chakra has the sound power of wong, W-E-N-G. And then the space along the back of the body that I was teaching everybody about uh, is the sound power for that is yo. Now, there's traditional teachings that what you chant is what you become. And when you chant this mantra in the order that I will teach you, what in essence you are doing is, I'm going to stop this for just a moment. What in essence you are doing is you are vibrating, vibrating each of the soul houses. Hei, Hung, Hong, Ah, Shi, Yi, Wong, Yo is the space in the back. What are we doing? We're moving the life force energy through the channel. And that gap in between each of the soul houses is also getting flushed. It's getting cleared. This is very important because when Chi flows, when life force energy flows, energy follows. When life force energy flows, healing follows, blood follows. So the, the discomfort you might be feeling in your abdominal region or even in your back, back pain could dissipate uh, after doing this practice. Why? Because blood is moving, life is moving. So this is a, a relatively advanced practice. Again, you can uh, do this one on your own. You can learn more about it by this book, Dao Song Dao Dance. And uh, this is Master Shah. And in the book is music that goes with this uh, mantra. Okay. So we're going to do this together. I'm going to put the mantra back up so you can see it. And we're going to chant this together. And we're going to employ the four power technique. The four power technique is sound power, mind power, soul power, and body power. Body power is where you place your hands is where the chi goes. Okay. So we're going to place one hand at the base of our torso, uh, where our palm is facing the base of our torso, and the other palm above your crown chakra, basically connecting all seven soul houses at once. So the center of your body, there's a channel, a line through the center of your body. One palm is facing your first soul house. The other palm is facing uh, face down over your crown chakra. Now leave a little space there. Don't push down on the top of your head. Leave a space there, uh, gentle, and this will allow the chi to flow. And the sound power for the first soul house is hey. So everybody repeat that. Hey, 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 hey. Sound power over the second soul house is hung. Everybody repeat that. Hung, hung, hung. Move your hand up. Move where your thumb uh, is touching it. Your thumb knuckle sits in your belly button and your palm is below your belly button and inside your body. That's your second soul house. Everybody repeat. Hung, 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 hung. Now move your palm up to where the center of your palm is over the center of your belly button and repeat. Hong, this is the third soul house, sound power. Hong, 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 Hong. Move your palm up to your heart chakra and repeat. Ah, ah, ah. One more time, move up to your throat chakra. He, he, he. And again, move up to your third eye. Yi. Yi, yi. And then you already have your hand on top of your head. Wong, 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 wong. Okay. So now that you know the individual sounds, we're going to chant them together. And you will uh, get used to it very quickly. It's quite beautiful. So one hand over the top of your head, one palm facing your first soul house. <clears throat> back away from the back of the chair. You want your chi to flow. You want to feel better, right? And we connect at the level of soul, soul power. So repeat after me. Dear the soul of my seven soul houses. Dear the soul of my energy channel. I love you. You have the power to clear your blockages. You have the power to boost your energy. Do a good job. Thank you. Dear, continue to repeat. Dear all the beings of light who have come today. I love you. Could you please bless this practice? 
help me to clear blockages in my seven soul houses and energy channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so close your eyes. Well, you probably can't close your eyes because you need to see the words on the paper. But if you know it, then close your eyes. If not, see the words on the paper. See the light going from the first soul house through the center of your body up to the crown chakra and then see the light going back down the width of your body in front of the spine, but behind the heart and the lungs. Let us begin. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. You'll get used to the mantra. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. <coughs> hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. 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 If you can, close your eyes and just go along with the tune. It's easier and better for you to visualize the light moving through your body. Let us continue. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hong, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hong. getting used to it yet keep your eyes closed see the light moving through your channels see the loop of the life force energy hey hung hong ah she wong you hey hung hong ah she wong you hey hung hong she wong yo hey hung hong ha she wong yo and a little bit faster hey hung hong ha she wong yo the yo see the light going down in front of the spine through the whole back of the body and then begin hey hung hung ah she wong yo 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 
，哎呀，啊，啊，西翁哟。哎呀，哈啊，西王哟！哎呀，哈啊，西王哟！ Feel your body. Notice if you feel any differences. If your arms are tired, you can rotate your arms to different. Switch the one from the bottom to the top, and so forth. And we will chant for each soul house separately. Putting your mind on your first soul house, you can put both palms one over the other, facing your first soul house, first chakra. And we will just chant, Hey, H E I, Hey. See light coming into your first soul house, Hey. Also, squeeze your anus for a few seconds and release. This helps you focus on the location. Hey, hey, good. Now move your palms up to your second soul house, approximately an inch and a half below your belly button. You can rest your thumb knuckle in your belly button, and then place each palm one over the other. Put your mind in the center of your body, behind your palms. Focus on your second soul house and chant. Oh. Oh. Try to imagine. Your sound is coming from your second soul house. Put your your voice in your second soul house. Hum, hum, hum. Move your palm up to where the center of your palms are directly over your belly button. Go into the center of your body and chant, "Oh, oh, oh." Now move your palms up to your heart chakra. You can either tap your heart chakra or simply leave your palm over your heart chakra. And the sound power is ah. Visualize inside the center of your chest, <clears throat> light radiating to and from your heart center. Ah. Continue to open the message center more. Tap your message center. Ah. Ah. Great. 
Now place your palm over your throat, but not touching your throat. Visualizing the light gathering in the throat chakra. Sound power is she. 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 Moving your free palm up in front of your third eye, seeing the third eye in your center of your brain being empowered. Sound power is Yi, Y I. Yi. Excellent. Finally, placing your palm over your crown chakra, not pushing down, just gently resting there. See the light above the scalp and chant. Wong. W E N G. Gather the light. And now, with one palm on the back of your neck, facing downward, down your spine, we're going to bless the entire space and the back of the body with the mantra, Yo. Let us begin. Yo. See the light in the entire back half of the body. Yo. 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 Good. Now keep your eyes closed and we'll do the entire mantra. Seeing the light going from your base chakra, first soul house, through the center of your body, up to the crown chakra, and that back down in front of the spine. Let us begin. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, you. You can put one palm on top of your crown, one palm facing your first soul house. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. See the light circling. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. Hey, hung, hung, ah, she, wong, yo. 
now but pay attention to your body how were you feeling before how are you feeling now did your discomfort dissipate if you had any are you more clear is your mind less busy are your emotions more balanced please post the results that you experienced during this do you feel more energized that's the purpose of this but sometimes when we're in a meditative state you don't instantly notice that some people do. Please post. Well, as a reminder, this weekend uh, is an opportunity to be live with Master Shah. Uh, he is doing blessings at an extraordinarily reduced honor fee of only $50. You get potentially life-saving blessings, not a small thing. Uh, when it comes from, from Master Shah, just beyond, beyond, beyond extraordinary. And he's offering three opportunities, uh, one on Saturday morning and uh, another one Sunday morning and Sunday evening. That's, of course, Hawaii time. But by registering for them, you receive it automatically. Even if it's 3.30 in the morning where you're at, it doesn't matter. You simply register. You tell heaven what blessing you would like. It needs to be for an organ or a system or a health condition. Organs like a brain, uh, liver, spleen, lungs. Uh, uh, body part, knees, elbows, neck, that's a body part. Um, health condition, diabetes, stroke, cancer, those are health conditions. You can request for any one of those and receive an extraordinary high-level blessing. So I enc encourage you to register for that. And Kristen has just posted that in her chat. So thank you, Kristen. Uh, welcome to everyone who I might have missed, uh, Chai and... Uh, Krista, welcome. Thank you for joining. Lisa Smiley, Aylin, Leah, uh, Pamela, <coughs> Gregor, uh, if I missed your name, thank you and welcome. And some of the comments coming in. Uh, Tone says her suffering went from a seven down to a one. Wow, that's amazing. And then uh, Kristen Strachan says it helped her uh, calm down the frenzied energy from working so hard. Uh, Pranjal's taking deep breaths, feeling different, don't know how to express himself. Good. Uh, Cora says her cold symptoms dropped from a six down to a four. Yeah, things will start to open up. You really need to do a lot more of this, Cora, because the um, cold and flu is literally because things aren't moving. And so just do it a lot. Rosetta says, so much warmth and vibration all over. Great. Yeah, I definitely feel more energy. I'm, I'm definitely feeling uh, 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 exactly what this says to the energy channel. And too much uh, information to go into the matter channel, which is moving things the other way. So uh, this is just a snippet of wisdom. I encourage you to um, learn more, uh, attend any of Master Shah's events and retreats. Get his book, The Dao Song Dao Dance. It's extraordinary, the wisdom in there. And because there's a lot of mantra and chanting in there, get the hardback book because it comes with the CD in the back. So you know what it is you're required to chant and how to do it. Um, the, the power is also transmitted in the book. There are transmissions in there and they will help you to move forward as well. Uh, somehow, Don, we always miss you. You come in at the end of the live stream, so you have to watch this on recording. But thank you for coming and have a great day uh, this week. Master Shah starting. So Sunday, I will not be able to do the live stream as I will be uh, at the special event with Master Shah. For those that usually come for Sunday, 
chanting love, peace, and harmony for those with the condition of cancer. Uh, that will not be happening this Sunday because of Master Shah being in town and the timing of his events and timing of that live stream. Okay. But uh, I will keep you all in mind and continue to send my love and blessings to you. And we'll talk to you all very soon. Bye-bye, everybody.